everyone, it's Tommy with Outrider USA. I have the functional prototype of the Horizon here behind me. Last week we went through some of the basic controls of the bike. Today I'm going to dive into some of the more advanced features and the hows and whys. And the bike is right now in testing phase, so it's going to be dirty, but functionally it's there. So we're going to walk through different pieces of the bike and how everything works. So one of the biggest goals with the Horizon was to make it as modular as possible. And the reason for that is we want our customers to continue to be able to ride the improvements as the bike evolves over the years. So the center section of the frame is the heart. This is a structural monocoque enclosure. It's made out of aluminum. And all the batteries and all the electronics are housed within this enclosure. On the front end of the bike, there's a bulkhead here that attaches the entire front end of the bike to this enclosure. We have the same thing on the rear end. So this whole rear end assembly is attached to the enclosure on this rear bulkhead. The Horizon can be operated purely in pedal mode or it can be operated purely in electric mode, or the two can be blended together. The electric drive system is powerful enough to easily pull you up the steepest of hills under its own power, and the 11-speed internally geared hub allows you to pedal on steep terrain without any electric assist. Right now you're looking at an overhead view of the electric drive system. Forgive the mud and crud, it's been out in the trails a lot as we've been testing it. The electric motor is here on the right. It's a brushless motor. In low range, it'll spin 8,000 RPM. In high range, it'll spin about 13,000 RPM. So really incredible little motor in a small package. It weighs only about three and a half pounds, but it'll put out a peak of about five horsepower. It outputs power to this planetary transmission, which increases torque from the electric drive. And then over here, we have a one-way bearing that allows you to freewheel so that when you're pedaling, you don't feel any drag from the electric motor. That one-way bearing sends power through the synchronous belt drive, which is very quiet and maintenance-free, much nicer than a chain drive. And it drives to the rear wheel, which powers through the disc brake flange, so you can send a ton of power through this system. And though it's a mid-drive, it's not a mid-drive in the traditional sense, in that it doesn't drive the bicycle chain. So you don't have any accelerated wear on your bicycle chain or components. It's all through the synchronous belt drive. Now we've turned the bike around to take a closer look at the pedal drive system. At the heart of it is a Shimano Alpine 11-speed internally geared hub. That allows you to shift down into first gear whether you're rolling or whether you're stopped so you can never get trapped in a tall gear. And then driving that Shimano Alpine is Shimano's DI2 electronic shifting system. That allows the system to be very modular, to be set up in a lot of different ways. And from the handlebars, you can shift through the gears via the electric push buttons. So you can go one at a time like I just did, or you can dump the whole gear and it'll downshift the whole way to first gear for you if you press and hold the button. That wraps it up today for the advanced features looking at the pedal drive system and the electric drive system on this functional Horizon prototype. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't talk about today, feel free to post them in the comment section below and we'll address that in a future video. Uh, soon we'll have some pre-production shots that we'll look at this again and it'll be a much prettier bike, so look forward to that video. Thanks.